Okay, welcome back to part two of this uh, Froyo on the Motorola Droid walkthrough. Um, maps did not change, the gallery did not change. Actually, on this ROM, I think the gallery does not work that well at all. I've run into all kinds of bugs with it. It just doesn't seem to display properly and all kinds of stuff. So gallery actually seemed to take a little hit. So we'll just get out of there. I'm not even going to deal with that. Um, market I think we all have seen some of the screenshots of this we definitely got some changes going on in here so we'll let this thing load up um, if we go into what we've downloaded I'll just show you some apps that we have installed already let's just go to the droid life app which I thought was installed okay it should have been installed let's go Xco browser We'll give the Xscope guys a quick shout out here. Um, right here, this is the new thing, allow automatic updating. You can go ahead and check that and it'll update it for you automatically. You can also see the comment tab is a separate tab. So markets definitely changed. They did some nice little tweaks there to make it much nicer. Okay, so markets updated. Um, as far as text messaging goes, haven't seen a whole lot of new stuff in here. Um, so I'm just really gonna skip right through that one. Haven't seen a bunch of changes there yet. Um, let's see, the music app has not changed, the navigation hasn't changed, news and weather hasn't changed, your phone really hasn't changed. Um, I already showed you all the settings. The G-Talk does look a little different. You can see it's just, it's not gray anymore, it's kind of white. You can really tell who's online and who's not. Um, also, if you actually go into it, I think the actual chat is a little bit different now, a little bit updated, so G-Talk definitely got a mini makeover. And that is pretty much it. That's a quick walkthrough. Um, there's all kinds of little tweaks and little tricks and stuff that are going to happen with it. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's really going to be awesome when we get the, the real build. Um, also going to show you guys quickly, though, Flash on here. I know Flash is kind of the, the big deal these days we've all been waiting for. So let's just go to ESPN.com since they have a bunch of Flash going on on their site. And we want the full ESPN.com. Yeah, let's go landscape to show you guys this. And yes, the Celtics just beat the Lakers. Can't stand the Celtics. Um, so let's do this. Zoom in over here. Let's just find a video. Let's check out Rafa Nadal taking down another French Open title. Okay, so we click on that and we'll uh, let this video load up so you guys can see Flash in action. Actually, it works pretty well. I was pretty surprised. Flash Lite that I have on my Incredible is basically garbage. Um, this Flash 10.1 actually does work. Okay, so it says get Adobe Flash Player, but once the page actually loads, you can see it starts loading that video right up. It'll probably be a commercial first, but uh, actually I'll tap play on it. And of course, commercial first, but you can see it's not jittery at all like Flashlight was. I mean, it's a little jittery, but it's not, um, oh, the most amazing man in the world, or interesting man in the world. See that though? It's not perfectly smooth, but you know, it is a mini mobile browser, but this is much better than Flashlight was. So uh, yeah, this new Flash, this new Flash, I guess it's kind of a plugin or app is a... Uh, oh, go Rafa. Okay. Anyway, so Flash is in there. Um, for those of you wanting to uh, use Hulu, Hulu, however you say that thing, uh, remember the shortcut is to do the about... No, it's not letting me do it. About debug. Okay, remember this? We put a, posted a shortcut on it. I know lots of you want to do that. When you hit enter on that, it's actually not going to do anything. I know a lot of you are waiting for it to pop something up. After you type in that, you just go into more, and you'll know you've done it right because these two new options, dump navigation cache, will be in there. So we can now go into settings, flip all the way down to the bottom to UA string. Choose that, choose desktop, and then you can watch Hulu. Okay, so um, anyway, that is basically it. This is the uh, Froyo, Froyo first 2.2 ROM that we've seen for the Motorola Droid and uh, runs uh, 
pretty well. Um, we showed you some of the uh, benchmarks that we've gotten, and now that there's new kernels out there and you can really overclock this thing, you can really get it screaming. So um, definitely check it out. Um, you can grab it at our site, which is droid-life.com. We've got all kinds of directions, instructions, get you flash going, get you 2.2 going, tips and tricks on how, what you can do with it or what you can't do with it. Um, there's actually a new theme that's just come out. It's just a black theme. There's all kinds of stuff going on with this. So uh, anyways, like I said, droid-life.com. Check us out at the blog. We're out. Peace.